ratio, but you're cooking with a cup. So let's go. Let's get started. Today's episode is dank potatoes. doing first, I already did it, but you clean the potato, what I do, I got a scrub sponge, there it is, and one of these, no, no uh, soap, no soap, so no soap, what I do is, get it wet, scrub the hell out of it, should be clean, no free of dirt, I mean these shadows suck, I have to get some lamp or something, anyway. So make sure all the roots are off, all the dirt's off. There's your potato, okay? Oh, shit. So get the cleaner off, then you get your onion. This is the hard part for all you uh, people that don't know how to cook. So, I hope you know how to do this, but that's what we're doing. Probably should have peeled it first, whatever, it doesn't matter. The yellow onion? I don't know what kind of fucking onion this is. Just, just get one that looks like this. Okay. You peel this out. Dank potatoes. We'll clean that up later. off get the skin off actually there's like a film you know the onions get that film layer get that little film from the extra outside off okay, the film is off we're, what we're gonna do is cut this in well the knife's dirty not dirty but the knife has an onion outside on it so take it Cut it right down the middle, okay? Well, not down the middle. You want slices of it. So we're gonna do our best to cut the slices. About half an inch to a centimeter, around a centimeter to half an inch thick. This is the one we're gonna use. We're gonna save all this for later, but I'm just showing you what one was gonna look like. Okay, so I'll save this. Rubbermaid container. Let's see if this fits. Perfect. It fits. Save it for later. Okay, boom. Bone up a teeth. Eat it raw. I hear crazy people eat it raw. Okay, so. Gonna put this to the side. Clear off our. Now, we're gonna see what kind of song plays next, Mike and Ray. Anyway, now we're going to cut this in half. Okay. Uh, do it so it's the widest side. You don't want it narrow. You do not want it like that. Right. You do not want it like that. You probably want it the narrowest way. So, right down the center. I was along with some and so then press. Take your time, don't go fast with it. Perfect, so look. Okay. Now we don't need the cutting board anymore. So we're gonna bring out the aluminum foil. I prefer tin foil. Any kind of aluminum or tin foil. I don't know what's gonna cook with. Apparently there's high aluminum. Apparently there's high concentrated amounts of aluminum. In Alzheimer patients, so be careful when you're drinking all that. Don't consume too much of them. Okay, here we go. So you lay that one down. Put your next potato right there. And then grab your olive oil, okay? I guess you're going to put the onion there too. So what we're gonna need next is olive oil. Uh, we don't need minced onions, we'll put that up. We don't need paprika, we're gonna put that up. 
We don't need cumin. We're gonna put that up. Now, if you got cloves of garlic, I suggest cloves of garlic. I love cloves, so we're using garlic powder. Uh, sea salt, iodized sea salt, black pepper, and uh, either some kind of McCormick weird little seasoning, you know? There's the hamburger seasoning or steak. We're gonna go with uh, hamburger. Doesn't matter. Okay, so first we drizzle, and when I say drizzle, I mean drizzle, the extra virgin olive oil. Okay, I got a little bit too much, but it's okay, it's extra virgin olive oil. So I'm gonna take my, a dirty hand, you want a dirty hand and a clean hand. The dirty hand is gonna be left, that you rub in the olive oil on the onion and the skin of the potato. You flip it, and you make sure all of it is covered in olive oil. Great, perfect, it works great. Now, take your clean hand, and you put on the salt, your garlic cloves or powder. Oh God, I got way too much, fuck. Oh, just ignore it, dirty hand, use it to wipe around, fine. Pepper. And then you flip it around to the same thing, but we're gonna skip the garlic powder because we've got way too much. Oh, oven needs to be set for big uh and around 450 to 475. I did 475 for one hour. 475 for one hour. We'll go over that again. So, should have had that preheating before. It's all good. So, put that seasoning salt, the iodized salt, and some pepper. And then, voila! You have your dank potato. You can get your hand dirty. That's what it's going to look like. Then you roll it. And fold each side. Fold it up. If you don't know how to roll a baked potato yet, there's something wrong. So, uh, I hope that was self explanatory enough. And then put it on a tray. You want to put it on a tray. So you don't want it to leak out and get all boiled everywhere. So just get a tray. Put your oven preheat to 475 in uh, about an hour, or sorry, 30 minutes, 475. One's preheated, 475, 30 minutes. And then flip it with tongs. And then uh, take it out and it should be done. Oh, God. I forgot one of the most important steps. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, God. I hope you watch this before you cook it. You're gonna wanna stab it with a fork. Yeah, just stab it with a goddamn fork. So, okay. Fuck! I forgot the most important step! No!